As you all know, I'm trying to beat Polybridge 3 with half budget. It's getting very hard. And the bridges are difficult. I got two vehicles, they're very slow and they gotta get to their own flags. No hydraulics, no split joints, nothing like that. It's not gonna be easy. Like, I don't know how I'm gonna split these up. Do I just wanna build a whole separate bridge for B? I mean, that's expensive-ish. But I mean, it, it dips pretty heavily into my budget. And I wonder if I could just like reshape some of the left side. Like just do a bridge directly here. And maybe if I do something like this, I can actually do a pretty nice wooden arch over the center. It's just, we're gonna probably be eking over 27 and a half thousand. Oh, we're not yet. Let's see if there's any merit. Well, all right, farmer truck makes it through, bus. Yeah, all right, I figured there'd be some problems there. I wonder, because I mean, I could prop this up with a wood support. It'd be a touch expensive, but I could shave in other areas, I think. And I mean, I, I know the truck works, just how does the bus hold? It actually holds pretty well until it reaches that, reaches that unsightly bump in the middle. This thing right here. Now, I guess I could make it a bit more rigid. I think I'm willing to just let this be exactly or very close to under half budget. Um, yeah. Oh, come on. What broke? Oh, that's a pretty bad break, because I can't replace it with wood. It's got to go straight to steel, unless if, like, I can tweak out the angle somehow, but I think that's not going to be enough. Let's see, when does it go bad? So it drives, 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 drives. Is the back wheel? Oh, now it works. It's just needed a better angle. Please? Uh, okay, I figured with that. So, if I angle up the road, then this piece breaks. So, I could let it become steel just for once just to see if that would magically fix it or if it's futile. So the angle's up and then a different wood breaks. I wanna test something, okay? If I just delete this and then do like a road connection here and a road connection here. It's pretty manageable price-wise. It's a lot cheaper. Does it flex? Does it hold? Where does it go wrong? Bends up. All right, so it does break eventually. Let's try a road support. Because, I mean, what's different about this is I have a lot more money to work with. So, any right side issues could maybe be smoothed over. Around some more rigid road angles here, possibly. Oh it, oh, it moves on its own. Whoa! Oh, okay, that's interesting. Well, I can almost afford a steal. I mean, I basically can. Please don't tell me that it just spreads the issue. It kind of does. Okay, so both of these would have to be rope. Does that at least fix the problems? I just want one working bridge. I gotta go for like another steel and now it's just mad expensive, but right, at least it finally works. Not half budget. Maybe I can cheap out on the left side. Not by much, but a little bit. Yeah, I always have a better job if I just start with a working bridge, then shave its budget, as opposed to just getting into a bridge that's uh, cheap and working. I wonder if I can even go as far as just lowering some of the woods in the middle. I mean, this segment of bridge probably can be fine. Yeah. All right. That's half budget. One last thing. I want to go with my original idea without giving up this time. And that would be something kind of like this, where the truck can fall through and the freaking bus can just make the gap. Now, I'm just going to start with the skeleton of it. I got to make sure the truck can fall through. It almost does. Back this up a little. And then, okay, a little closer. And then, all right, just the rope breaking, or uh, wood breaking. I'm gonna make it a rope then. Damn it, the rope still tears. Does the bus make it? No, I can't quite make it up that hill. Okay. All right, we're gonna return to the days of the wood muscle to hold it up. Wood muscles and tension aren't something you see often, but they work really well. Now, I'll just lower this road a bit so I can actually drive away. Why they work so well, I'm not so sure, but it does work very, very, very well. Ah, oh, but there is a collapse. Okay, hold on. I'll just strengthen up the arch a bit. Maybe that holds the bus. Because, I mean, it's just that on top. That's a very fixable issue. All right, so here we are. The question is, can I get the bus to drive over? Oh, come on. What broke? The road! Uh, I was really looking forward to just being like a wood problem. Maybe it still is fixed if I just kind of flex out the arch a little. Unless if I'm supposed to like tweak the bus stop. But I don't know, man. It gets so close to working. <gasps> no! Please make it for the kids! All right, everyone get to the front of the bus. We all need to lean forward at the same time. 
Let me see something. If I just add like a single little dangle right here, I wonder if the bus could actually grab hold of that. Wow, no, actually that's enough for the truck to get stuck. Okay, well, I'm, I'm gonna go for a muscle then. That'd be something. It works, the truck gets through. Can the bus piggyback off this tiny little road? Well, it goes slow like always. Oh, wait, what, what is this wedge? How the fuck? I'm gonna try a smoothening out by adding an additional road here. I wonder if that would give the bus more speed into this jump. Does it round it out? It actually almost does. It looks like it has potential. Come on, bus. That looks pretty close. The back wheel actually seemed like it had a chance for a second there, so I'm not giving up on this. Oh my god, finally. Oh, that was so annoying. But it did give me top 30. Oh, $95,000 bridge. The tower bridge and the caravan. So I've got 47,500. There are no side joints. Out of curiosity, where does this caravan go normally? All right, it doesn't quite fall all the way. His horsepower is pretty weak, so I wouldn't want to count on it. But all right, let me try a very basic design. I think I do want to arch roads. I'm going to start here. Expensive-ish, but I can get the outside with steel. Let's attach it to multiple static joints. I mean, I guess I could make it a steel muscle, but that's ungodly amount of money. Oh god, this is super expensive. That is so expensive. <laughs> At least this is a funny dance. Probably actually sports a little bit better if I go with under supports. Okay, a wooden under truss here. Yeah, suddenly the price feels a lot better now. I mean, it holds beautifully. The truck, or the RV gets on, it gets a little scary. But I think the one steel will make a huge difference. Yeah, it's just a shock. I think I can actually shave this. There is enough steel here that I definitely don't need all of these. Now, that's a more annoying problem. Oh, God, I thought I was done with these cliffhangers. Maybe now? Okay, there we go. Yeah, I think I can get off $5,000. Wow, yeah, my price point was terrible. First order of business, I don't think I need steel on top at all. Yeah, this middle did not seem to be under much stress. But now it is, so it can stay. I don't think all these need to be steel. Yeah, I'll even try wood on the edge just to see. Yeah, that works. Do I need this to be steel? One piece at a time, don't need it. Next, do I need, like, this part of the steel, or could I just, like flex it and have it hold well i mean that's half budget already but these steels that are here still annoy me so i'm gonna shave until i'm no longer annoyed do i need that because that could be wood just as well nice i actually bet if i tweak the steel up i could then almost have the arch be here saving me a lot of money yep thought so i'm not even top 500 though i mean this is almost embarrassing what about a wood support here, steel support here? There we go, much cleaner. Can I maybe get rid of this steel now? Almost, maybe replace it with one other steel. That's still cheaper by a lot, and I guess it does work. Top 500 at least. There's still so many steels. Well, for starters, I doubt I need these steels to go all the way. How about I steal muscle to just here? It's shorter by a lot, it's just as rigid. Maybe it's not just as rigid? No, it is just as rigid. What the hell is that brick? We kinda need it. I don't know, it's a little complicated actually. Maybe we don't need it. Like, what if this just kinda exists on its own? And it's just kinda wall braced. It's not going anywhere. <laughs> Alright, that's uh, dumb enough to work. Raise it up. Yeah, cause it's- Here's the thing. This thing is a bit of a hinge, right? It pivots at this point, but it has nowhere to pivot to because this edge falls into the wall. Like, the wall is bracing it, even though it's not a stereotypical wall brace. Then, what I can do is bring this in a bit more. I, I can make, like, a ton of changes just based off the idea. But what I can do is bring that in more. I wonder if I can now go to the Y support? I can. Awesome. And then what? I mean, I can do something similar-ish on the other side. I gotta be careful of the nook. The nook is actually more annoying than helpful, I think. Because I just wanted to, yeah, support. But I gotta make sure I support the middle a little better, too. 
which is the full-on mega arch. There we go, 37,000. Still top 2%. I still think I can shave off a lot of steel on the right. Get rid of, even get rid of this and just replace it with a steel like that. Still a Y support. Y supports are risky. Can I connect these with wood now? I believe so. The second one doesn't reach. But if I get away with this, I would eliminate two whole steel pieces. Bye-bye. You won't be missed. What about the other steel pieces here? I mean, all these steel pieces, I believe, can just go at some point. They could be a wood muscle. And this has a lot of pivoting. But not enough. <laughs> oh, man. That was a sixth uh, steel shave. Top 1%. Maybe I can actually have this be a wood muscle then, too. Come on. Hell yeah. Getting close to the top 100. Another steel can become a wood muscle. But it has to arch, too. There we go. That's the healthy medium. Top 100. Gonna keep pushing because there still exists steel. And I think I can do a wood muscle here. And I'm just gonna preemptively push that up and make the steel shorter. Very nice. I wonder if I can finally get away with these being woods again. Well, hold on. How about a road support? It's a healthy medium. Oh, that will do it. And is that all steel gone? Is 80th? It is all steel gone. Finally, a respectable bridge. None of that scandalous steel here. We only stand a prudent wood-only bridge. I think I'm done. I am happy with this. I mean, it has no steel, so I pretty much have to be happy. Plus, it's got that cute little twerk. Uh, not twerk, a quirk. With, <laughs> God, it does twerk a little bit now that you think about it. What's a gallery look like, huh? So this is... Where's the bridge? Oh, okay, so it's like... <laughs> a guided fall, which leads into a very rigid bridge. That's nice. Oh, and this road is just resting on the lip. What the? It goes backwards. It rolls back, but then still has the grip to make it up. Explain yourself. Did it shift into high gear or something? Or sorry, low gear? All right, so it seems like that's what the top places did. That's a really fun design. Oh God, it's a double jump. I forgot I'm in jump world. It's like 11,750. It's gonna be a bit of a nightmare for someone that's not good at jumps. But you know what? I am gonna use the nook. Of the Tom variety, just jammed in there. And let's just test that one. Wow, that's not even close. Okay, we're gonna angle that up quite a bit. I want a good launch angle, but I want it to not buckle. I bet I can actually use a road brace in here, since I'm not really using all my roads. Uh, hold on, that still has problems. Let's get rid of a lot of these connections. Just go for a double steel brace instead. What, you weren't jammed in there? There we go, perfect. That still doesn't make it. Oh, I hate it. All right, how about I actually focus on the compact car instead? Like, what if I just do a very simple jump like this? I just want to know where it goes. How much does it take to actually get to the other side? Because really, it doesn't look like it needs much more. Yeah, even that is too much, which is a good sign. That's how I'm starting off. Okay, I think I'm at the point where I can start going for, like, rope supports. Yeah, that doesn't actually count because it gets a little marooned. That works. Ooh, that's such a smooth landing. Does it work with a wood support? It does. Does it work if I, like, really cheap out, not even go rope? It does. Does it work if I get rid of the uh, connection and just brace it against the wall? Mm, okay. That's as cheap as I'm getting it. I got a lot of money to do the biker jump now. So now I just really just got to make a good ramp like this. And at some point, it's pretty cheap. Can I get it to work though? That's getting expensive. Oh, thank God I don't have to play this level anymore. Wow, all right. <laughs> wow, that was way quicker than I expected. This is something I want to see a cheap version of. Whoa, what is that? Oh, is that catching road? Oh, it breaks. Nah, 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 nah. I want to see a non-breaker. What the hell? What? How does the right side not work? How does that dangle road doubles a jump? I can't believe that works. Hey, another world complete. We're on to the three sheep difficulty. Generic levels. These are going to be tough to half budget. 